Ever pondered the magic of creating your own chocolate at home? It's a delightful process, as enchanting as the end product itself. Today we'll unfold the secrets to making homemade chocolate. It's simple, fun, and the results are absolutely delicious. Let's dive right in. We'll start with the basics. You'll need just three main ingredients, cocoa beans, sugar, and cocoa butter. Yes, that's right. The magic of chocolate lies in its simplicity. Now let's unveil the process, step by step. The first step is roasting the cocoa beans. This step is crucial in developing the chocolate's flavor. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and roast the beans for about 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. They should darken and crack slightly releasing a rich chocolatey aroma that will fill your kitchen. Once the beans are roasted, it's time to remove their thin outer shells. This process called winnowing might take a little patience, but it's worth the effort. You can use a hairdryer to blow away the lighter shells, leaving behind the precious cocoa nibs. Now, onto the grinding. This step transforms the cocoa nibs into a paste, also known as chocolate liquor. Use a grinder for this process. The friction will heat up the nibs, releasing their natural fats and turning them into a thick, rich paste. Next, it's time to add the sugar and cocoa butter. The amount of sugar you add will determine how sweet your chocolate is, so adjust according to your taste. As for the cocoa butter, it adds a smooth, creamy texture to the chocolate. Mix them thoroughly with the chocolate liquor until you get a smooth, shiny mixture. Once the mixture is ready, we move on to the conching phase. This is where the real magic happens. The mixture is continuously stirred and aerated, a process that can take anywhere between a few hours to a few days. Conching helps to refine the texture and flavor of the chocolate, making it smooth and delectable. Finally, we reach the tempering phase. This process involves carefully heating and cooling the chocolate to give it a shiny finish and a satisfying snap. Temper the chocolate by heating it to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, then cooling it down to 82 degrees and heating it back up to 88 to 90 degrees. And voila, you've just made your own chocolate. It's a labor of love, a test of patience, and a reward of the sweetest kind. In summary, making chocolate at home involves roasting cocoa beans, winnowing to get the nibs, grinding the nibs into a paste, adding sugar and cocoa butter, conching for flavor and texture, and tempering for the final touch. It's a journey of transformation, from humble cocoa beans to the luscious delight we all adore, chocolate. Isn't it amazing how a few simple steps can lead to such a delightful treat? It's time to embrace the chocolatier within you and create some magic in your kitchen. So go on, give it a whirl. You might just surprise